Are you someone who has thought about making content for either YouTube or for your social media? You've been thinking about it, you've been wanting to give it a go for a while now, but you are feeling stuck because you are wondering what type of content to make, who your niche is, and who you are making this, the content for. Well, this video is for you. Hello there, my name is Kabo Safo, and I'm the managing director of Segula Global, a company that helps purpose-driven leaders put their voice out there and tell their story and impact their online world. And I've been helping people create content for a while. Even for myself, I've been doing this YouTube thing for a while, creating content, and I've learned so much in this journey that I've been able to work so far, and I'll keep working for a while. One of the things that I, um, I got stuck with when I started with my YouTube channel was, I mean, that even made me stop my channel for a while because I was trying to find my niche. And it's a good thing because for every industry and for every space that you find in, you find yourself in, you f you'll be shocked that there are little niches that if you're able to serve very well, you're going to become a very successful person, whether it's in business or even here on YouTube. But the thing is, what if you don't know what niche you want to serve? What if you don't even understand the niche that you want to serve? This is my reply to that. Wait, 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 wait. You don't need to figure out a niche yet. All you need to do is make content for yourself. No, 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 not, not for yourself right now. I mean, who do you want to help? Just answer a few questions about who you want to help. And from the people that have been making content for for a while, one of the things that you realize about these people driven leaders is that they always and sometimes usually want to help people who are just like them a few years back. And that is something that is true today and will be true tomorrow. So what can you do as someone who is trying to make content but you don't have a niche yet? Let's think about who you want to help. Let's think about yourself. Can you make content that you love doing that um, helps answer this one particular question? All right, just start with that. And the thing about your niche will come up later. If you're a photographer and one of the, you want to make content teaching photographers, start by making content answering the questions that you had when you started out as a photographer. Maybe how do I get the best lens? How do I rent a camera? How do I edit a photo? Start with those content. And you'll be shocked that there will be people out there who find this valuable. And you yourself would enjoy this because just imagine you had all this content available to you when you started out in your journey. Just make content answering questions that you had. Make content talking about your experiences. If you are leading a team, share some of your experiences things that you wish you knew before you stepped in the role that you had. And now that you know, teach out there. I say this because that is the truth. And you realize that such content come easier because you are not trying to pretend to be somebody you are not. You realize that, yes, you will need some researching and some uh, all of that, but those contents are within you. It will come easier. And when you start putting out those content there, you can look at how people are reacting towards their content and then you quickly will adjust and move forward. But the goal is that you have to focus on yourself, look at your experiences, look at the people that you want to help, and start asking, uh, start with the questions that they are asking. And if you have re responses to that, you can start making content. You don't need a niche yet. The niche, yeah, it's great to have that, but it will come with time. Start with yourself. What questions do you have? Answer those questions. And with time, everything will just add up. If you found this video helpful, then I know that you will find this video even more helpful where I go straight into about some of the questions to answer when you want to set up your own personal brand for success. Check out that video and I'll catch you in the very next one. Peace. Well.